Hey guys, it's for Second Reality here with the 36th episode of the multiplayer RPG tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be setting up our details panel for our dialogue system, which we'll be continuing with. And uh, basically, we'll be able to set up our player name, which someone suggested and I thought would be a good idea, or our NPC name, and also our player name, I guess. And uh, our NPC image, I also decided to display as well. So basically when you load it up it, you'll play and it will it will uh, size so far this way but as if you have a longer name the the uh, this panel will size to the name for example this is one of the weird things that I had to fix with it it gets a little bigger as the name is bigger but if you put a really small name We'll only go to a default size. So without further ado, we will get into that. Alright, so now that I have my project open, first thing I'm going to do is open up my dialog widget. And here we're going to need to add a few things and maybe make a couple of little changes. So we have our border. We're going to want a horizontal box. Might run into a couple of issues adding this. In case you want to grab your NPC text here and wrap it with a horizontal box. And then we're going to grab another text box and we're going to drop that in here. Put this over here like that. So this is where our, our NPC text will start. And for, for here, we'll also want a vertical box. And then we have our text in here. We'll also grab an image, add that to our vertical box. So we have our name and our image. We'll make that look a little nicer soon. And we'll just name this it's the image and name text. We're going to make these variables as well. The image is already a variable. That's the details vertical box. Um, Going down through these, there's a few things. We're going to want to wrap this with a horizontal box so that we can uh, get another text. And that's just simply so we can put our dots between the names. So this, this text block is simply just going to be the, the symbol in between there. And uh, now that we have that done, wrap this details vertical box for the border. And we will set this brush color to darker color 0.5 so that we can see it still but it will be darker that's our details border so that stores everything for the details and 
we'll just get... Well, actually, yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah, the appearance. There we go. Get our color from here. Paste that here. And I'm not actually going to give it an outline. I'll do the same thing with this one. So now we have our color and our text. And we'll just give this a quick NPC name. So why I have to remove that. Now our image. I'm going to put fill. And we're just going to leave that like that for now. I'm going to import an image soon. Or actually, I'll just do that right now. I'll put this image this image in the, in a uh, in a download for the project. But uh, or actually, there's not really any point. All I did was take a picture. I uh, literally just opened up a picture of my civilian. Went to my viewport. Put it on an angle like this. Went to my capsule. Turned off visibility. So for now, I took a screenshot and used that as my texture. <coughs> I had to pause that before I sneezed, but caught it. That's how I created the texture. It's just an image. Um. Let's so create a new folder, textures. And I guess I will just leave this texture in there. Put it in the download in the video just in case. And all I did in here was I opened it up. Turned on my chroma color, compression, I set the user interface. My world, I set that to user. And there's something else. That, oh yeah, I set the color to dark gray like that. So that's just good enough for now. You can cut it out, cut it out properly. It's just a good to get my quick image in there. And. I'm just going to put him in here now just to get the default size all set up. You can adjust the si image size right here. And my image size is 150 by 100. And that's is it for this right here i think it's just setting up that's just for setting up this so there's, there's our details border and has all everything in our details panel um now we want to be able to actually set our name so to do that we need to go to our behavior trees get our npc talk task And in here, I'm just going to move this down. And I'm going to create two new variables here. That's my NPC name. It's going to be a text, instance editable, and expose on spawn. So we can edit it per instance of the NPC. Put no name set because we're going to be setting it elsewhere. We're going to be setting this variable as just a default variable. So an NPC name and and this is going to be a texture 2D. And we're just going to open up this NPC talk and it's going to take us into our dialogue widget. 
I'm going to add two new parameters that are text. Or not, the second one won't be a text, the second one, the second one won't be a texture 2D. Now we have our NPC name and NPC image. I'm actually going to reorganize that. So I'm going to put the name on top. And now back in here. So we're just getting to get our NPC tech or NPC name, sorry. Plug that in like that. And we'll send it to our dialogue widget. To fill out the name and the image. Fill out the image. And the way this works is we open up our dialogue tree. I'm just going to save all because some things unsaved. Go to our dialogue tree and we go up to our talk. Uh, behavior that we set right here. We have no name set. We can set their name. And we didn't set our image to it's insettable and expose on spawn. And then we can set our image for chat like that. Gonna test it out. I think there's some size issues I need to look into. Oh, yeah. Um, we also need to set this in here now that we're setting this here and sending it to our widgets through here. We're only setting the text, but we actually want to set the name and everything else too. So we'll drag out of our NPC name. First we'll get our NPC name text. Set text. And whatever comes out of this when it's sent from our widget. So the name that's set in here, it's sent to our NPC talk events, which will set down our interface. I get this a little more organized here. Let me set our name. And finally, our image. So we grab our NPC image. Set brush. Set set brush from texture. I believe it's the one we want. Yep. image from the dialog tree. Now we rid of these. And for the thought we need, we're also gonna want to plug in our image from here from here. So we grab this and just plug that in right like that. Now we'll grab the image from our dialogue tree here and send that all the way over here.
because now I have the image being sent into our FPC talk. But we still might have a few issues with the sizing. Yeah, there's some issues there with the sizing. So to fix those. Okay, so that was a pretty simple fix. I just went in, went in the hair and we're missing a couple of things. You want to change your dress to a Kate. We want to go into our dialogue widget. Go to our FPC text, change the justification to the left side, and fill. That will fix that issue, so now our text is displaying there. Um, Okay, so there's still a couple of things we need to adjust. Yeah, I see what the problem is here now. So uh, you want to click your details panel, right click, and wrap with a size box. Your details border. And the size box. We're going to add some padding to the right, so that'll be 10. I'll move our text slightly over want to set the horizontal alignment to the left and our minimum desired width we'll set to 250 so it doesn't get too small but if it but if the name ex exceeds the box the box will stretch out but if it gets to the, to a certain size it won't get too small anymore so now we click we have our text displaying it's spacing out properly and if we set a larger name, it should stretch the box out. And there's our box stretched. But if we have a small name, we'll set the default minimum and it won't let it go any smaller than that. Just another couple quick changes that I just thought of. Um, you go to your NPC image to it. You notice that when I made it, when I put a, a large name in, the, the image squid got really large and squished. So a simple fix for that is we go to auto and we'll justify it to right there and now we can set our image size more properly and it will stay to whatever size we want it to be. It won't adjust, it won't adjust with the horizontal alignment of the text anymore. Now we have that. Our default smallest it can get. Fill it out with a bunch of random crap so I can quickly show you. And now our image still is the same, but our text is still over here, but I'm never going to name that big, but just an example. All right, so that's going to be everything for this video. If you found this helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial video uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section below or join my Discord, Discord community using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next episode.